Synopsis addressable water leak detection panel system with a touch screen panel, the SIM module and water leak detection cable. So we have a main panel which can take 32 of SIM modules. This panel it can take from 2 to 32 modules. Each module can take 150 meters of water leak cable. So the total water leak cable in a system will be around 4,800 meters. Okay. So the main, this is the main touchscreen panel, which has a 10.1 inch touchscreen display. It has a hooter output, a potential free relay output, as well as a mod bus and a backnet output. Now I'll just explain you the main points of this panel, the functions. Uh, we have, we go to system status, we go into, this is how you go into the programming mode. Here you have total number of slaves which is connected. So you can increase or decrease the total number of the slaves. The slaves uh, means the same modules, the same modules which are placed in uh, the rooms like server room, UPS room, each room will have one same module. So total number of seams connected, then we have a Modbus address which you can change. Then we have Modbus baud rate also. Now this is a feature which normally others don't have. We can have six types of baud rates, right? Uh, so according to the VMS system, we can change the baud rates. We have date and time which can be changed. Uh, then, uh, then we have zone name and isolation settings. You can name the zones, that is the SIM modules. The SIM modules can be named as wherever, room, whichever room they are placed, like server room. So suppose uh, we, zone 7, we name it as server room. So S E R. So if you see zone 7 has become server room. So this is for easy identification. You can similarly isolate the zone, whichever zone you want to isolate for maintenance purpose. So this is zone name and isolation settings. Then we go to the normal, the panel will reset itself and I go to the normal mode. Once it goes to the normal mode, then we have this home screen. Again, the home screen will show total number of zones. In this case, we what we have selected is total is 32 zones. That is the 32 SIM modules. We are saying that will be connecting. Then we have normal zones. Since only one SIM module is connected, so normal zone is only one. Leak has not been detected in any of the zone. No cable fault. Slave fault, there is 26 and 5 we have isolated, 5 zones we have isolated. So this is the home screen which uh, gives you the status and this is the zone status. This is the screen which will be always on. So in this case all the 32 module status will be visible at one page at one go all the time. Green stands for the normal. So this C module is normal, you can see it's written normal here. Then the another, all these zones which are grey, they are slave fault since they are not connected. We have isolated this blue, so blue shows isolated zones. So at any point of time, you come to know the status of all the SIM modules at one go. Okay, as and when this uh, there is a leak occurred this will turn uh, green uh, the red as and when there is a cable fault it will turn yellow okay uh, then we have uh, event log 
this event log will give you the uh, sim module's name what what event has occurred whether it is a leak or cable fault the date and the time we go to the home screen or the back first now this is as far as this gives a backnet or a modbus output as i told you earlier and this communicates with the sim through rs485 the sim module has an lcd display which again shows leak at what distance if there is a cable fault then cable fault it has a hooter output as well as a buzzer here also we have a hooter output as well as a buzzer so in this case we have a hooter as well as lcd display which shows the leak distance and this is the water leak addressable cable it comes with the connectors the start of line and this is the end of line this is a 10 meter cable now i'll just demonstrate you the leak the water once i put it in this now this breather led is there it has stand steady now since it is detecting a leak so now it is showing the lcd display is showing 10 meters the leak has occurred this is the end of the 10 meter cable the addressable panel that particular zone that the sim it has turned red and it is showing what distance that is a 10 meters you can silence the sim module you can silence the touch screen panel so once you remove the cable wipe the water out this turns normal this breather led starts blinking this turns green so green is now it's a normal mode 